Hello and welcome. In this video, I will disclose the design and the method for synchronized phasor measurement device for power distribution system, aka micro PMU. Soon after power engineering people get acquainted with PMU and wide area monitoring system, they come up with the idea of micro PMU. A micro PMU is a high resolution PMU. Here, micro refers to the capability of a PMU to provide microscopic resolution of measurements. A general transmission PMU can publish at max 50 measurement report per second, whereas micro PMU can stream measurement report at a rate of 100 or 200 measurement reports per second for a 50 Hz system. With increasing penetration of renewable resources in distribution system and rapid growth in demand of electric vehicle rises concern for the stable operation of distribution system and forcing the adaptation of a smarter and intelligent grid. The micro resolution measurement and high measurement reporting rate capability makes it suitable for measurement of distribution system parameters, which is high R by X ratio and where the transients that dies out quickly, which cannot be seen through the eye of transmission grade PMU. The major challenge for implementation of wide area monitoring system for distribution system is presented by radial topology of distribution network, which is spread over a large geographical area and also requires a large number of costly PMUs for total coverage. Our PMU is developed like a small IoT device which can be hooked directly in the existing system. Its operations are categorized in three major blocks, high voltage module, analog front end and phasor processing and communication module. It uses Navic instead of GPS for timekeeping and synchronization purpose. It takes 512 data points in one power cycle for estimating highly accurate phasor parameter and each loop of phasor estimation block uses half cycle data to produce a phasor value and later time tag and report it to PDC at 100 frames per second following IEEE C37 standard. The high voltage module steps down the voltage level output from substation CT and PT to a suitable level good for digital signal processing. It uses Hall effect based sensors to provide noise free transformation after which analog to digital converters digitizes the analog waveform. The sampling pulse is obtained through a phase lock loop which aligns the sampling pulse with one pulse per second from Navic receiver. With the rising edge of synchronized sampling pulse, the ADC driver triggers the ADCs. Here three ADCs are used to sample three phase voltage and current waveforms simultaneously and store it in two separate memory. ADC drivers and memory is basically a part of phasor processing and communication block. This block is developed as a system on chip over a FPGA provided by Intel Cyclone 5 FPGA series. The architecture is designed in such a way that it must be able to collect, process and publish measurement following a time constraint. As for 100 measurement report per second, we have a time cost of only 10 milliseconds. For phasor processing, it has two separate cores which runs parallelly. One processes three phase voltage samples and other three phase current samples. It is also equipped with a separate core time driver which is responsible for timekeeping by using timing data from Navic receiver module. This SOC also has an ARM Cortex A9 based Linux processor which deals with communication of phasor data to PDC through internet when memory is filled with 256 digital samples of half cycle waveform. The phasor processing cores are invoked to collect the digital samples from memory and apply phasor estimation technique. The voltage processing core acts on voltage samples of three phase voltage waveform and current processing core acts on current samples of three phase current waveform. After calculating the total six phasor value, three phasors for voltage and three phasors for current, the measurements are time tagged by invoking the time driver and finally stored in a shared memory. The ARM core collects those time tag phasor value from the shared memory and format the measurements according to IEEE C37 standard and sends it to the PDC. The process of sample collection, processing and communication continues to run in loop. This is the demonstration of micro PMU at IIT Kanpur reporting phasor data to PDC. It shows total 6 phasor frequency around 50 Hz and phase angle 120 degree apart and here 100 frames per second showing 97 current peak. This is the development so far and it still need a lot of work to make it ready for deployment in actual substation and soon we will achieve that. Thank you.